Hello, Dave from Motorcycle Factors here today. Uh, you might have seen in the last video on the Virago 535. Took it out for a run. She ran okay, but the brake was appalling. Uh, it works and then it doesn't. I suggest it's the master some of them. So we bought a Tor Max uh, repair kit. I think that came off a of flea bay. I'm not sure. And um, one of our subscribers also has had the same problem. So we thought we'd do this one last job. So what we're going to do today is put a repair kit in the um, master cylinder. So uh, first job, I'm going to take the fluid out because it's always a, a funny angle. I'm just going to take the fluid out. I'm going to drop it out of the caliper side best I can. Nice little bit of pipe, 8mm ring spanner. And then just crack that open. If you could pump it, um, camera. We're just going to try and get most of the fluid out. It just saves it dropping over and all over the bike. We will put a, a towel or two to try and protect. Then we get get the master cylinder off and do it on the bench. Right, that's the majority of the fluid out, so I'll just tighten that up and take that off of there. I want that splashing everywhere, just put it in there. Out the way. Take that. Right, next job, I'm going to... I've got this towel, because we're going to take this... Um, take the brake hose off. Just put a towel around it. I might put another one on the tank, actually. Just don't want any brake fluid dripping out. And then I've got a, these brake clamps on the clamp you can feel you don't want to go too tight just a, a little bit you see it's just pinching it up a little bit it will stop it from coming both ways i'm going to take the mirror off first get that out of the way that's 17 mil so as you can see it's left hand thread this side so, so it means you've got to go clockwise to undo i'll just undo this clamp uh, bolt, the hose bolt, ban it, they call it sometimes. I'm just going to leave it a little bit loose there. Let's get the others undone. That was 12 mil, that one. This is 10 mil on the clamps there. Let's hold it. That's there. Put the washers. out the hose don't forget the two copper washers on there there you go leave that bolt in there right as you can see we've we wired the um, the banjo up the hose just so it don't drop and drip we're going to take the re the brake light switch off now if you turn the whole thing over make sure you don't drip anything out that's why i've got the towel there anyway if you look down in this hole there's a little tag push it down and slide it out you can see that there's a little raised tag now as you push it back in it just connects it in so that's rather simple now we're going to move over to the bench you need two 10 mils to take the lever off be careful there's a spring inside to get it off and so you can see the spring there just make sure you keep that safe Now we've got to try and work out how to pull this thing apart. So we're going to try and strip this down now. I've left the top on, as you can see at the moment. Let's just, we're going to get it all apart. You've got to take this rubber off. If you look in the kit, you've got this, you've got a spare rubber. And it's quite rigid. So I'm suggesting that's a push fit down inside. You'll see what I mean. So we'll get this, get the rubber, get a little screwdriver in there. Look at that. Simple as that. It's a bit corroded. We're going to have to do a bit of cleaning up. But so, so, and then down inside, there's a circlip. So I've got to get me circlip pliers out and about. What I'm going to do now, first off, I'm just going to try and move it with my screwdriver because it's because there's a little bit of corrosion in there. It's going to be a little devil to move. Right, I've just loosened the circlip off. It was a bit, a bit of a job. Push the piston down as well to give us a little bit more room but there's a spring on there so be careful when you take the circuit out it was a bit of a job 
So there it's all gone. Guys, we've got a lot of wear on that side. Look, it's really shiny there. On the rubber, there's not a lot, of, not a lot of difference in the rubber. It's, you can see the metals being worn here. Look, you see. So I'm suggesting we were getting a bit of uh, pressure going past. Hopefully, that's going to be the problem. So let's see what we got in here. There's a dirty bit of rag camera mount. We've got a little, we've still got the rubber in there, as you can see. There should be a spring behind it anyway. There you go. And that's all there is to it. We'll take the top off now. Gotta give it a good clean up before we put everything back into together. There's some fluid coming out of here, but that's to be expected. Not loads. And there is a little bit of crap in there. Um, give it a Give it a wash out with some clean brake fluid. Don't clean it out with WD-40 or anything like that. There's a couple of little galleys in there that need to be, make sure you clean them out. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get cleaning. But we're gonna start reassembling the kit. I don't know why it doesn't come together, but that rubber needs to go on there, as per the old one. What we're gonna do, I'm going to get some brake fluid to lubricate it. Have some brake fluid all over it. Well, there, there I've got it all. All right. Make sure you've got plenty of lubricant. You should be perhaps wearing gloves. It is brake fluid, but I've been using brake fluid all my life, and the, the gloves are a bit of a bugger to um, actually feel anything, and uh, they will rip. But that was on. That's not too bad. I went on this way. I wouldn't recommend going that way. It's sharper, and you might think, oh, yeah, that'll screw onto there, but it won't. Right. So that's that. Next, the spring goes down inside. And this rubber goes in on top. You can see it's got a little locating peg on there. I'm going to use fluid. They have given us some grease, but you don't want the grease contaminating the brake fluid. I think, I think that grease is just to lubricate the, the final rubber and stuff. The cover. So. That, that should self-locate. I've put loads of brake fluid on this again as you can see and that just butts up against the rubber inside down there and that's all there is to it and then all you've got to do is get the circuit back on so we'll put it there and push that down yeah that, that went in well you might just Push down on the circuit just to make sure it's in the groove. Um, but uh, she's down there. I did clean that groove out. We didn't, didn't, the cameraman didn't film it. But I, did, I did manage to get around and make sure that old groove is all clear for the circuit to go into. I got a piece of rag all the way down the cylinder and cleaned it all the way out. So that's basically it. That's going up and down nice and sweetly. So what I'm going to do. Now, I'm just going to clean all this off with a little bit of WD-40, but I'm going to make sure it's not going to get anywhere inside the caliper because I'm going to put some I'm going to put some WD-40 and then I'm going to put some grease around and put the dust cap over the end here. Just put a little bit on there. And I'm going to just to take the brake fluid off that's on the paintwork as well. Now, the dust cap, the new dust cap. Let's 
grease. It smells like furniture polish. Smell that camera, man. It smells like furniture polish. It smells like. Yeah. I'm going to put some round there. Down there. Round this. Like that. I just fill it with less of a. Let's just push it down. It locates. It goes in. And then you just got to push. See the rubber? There's the old piston. There's this lip on there. You see? That lip. And the rubber needs to locate in there. So if you just force it down and in, it will go. Just like that. See? So that's it. That's great. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the the lever back on now. But I'm going to. I don't know what grease this is. It's at home. I'm going to put some. Uh, I think I'll put some copperies in there. Put a bit of copperies on the spring. Put that in there. I'll put a little bit on the thing on the uh, lever. Make sure it locates in there. Oh, what am I doing? It's like that, doesn't it? Yeah. So, and then, the piston, at uh, the bowl, goes in at the top, obviously, and that was at the bowl. Wiggle it. Just a little bit. Ten mil. Where's my ten mil cameraman? Must be on my ratchet cameraman. You don't want to do this up too tight because all you're doing is clamping that all together. And so I just pinched it, just pinched it. And the tightness comes in here that just stops it from going around. So here you want to tighten the nut and not the bolt, which you normally should do anyway. You should always tighten a nut and never a bolt, the bolt end. It's fairly tight. It's got a nylon nut on there anyway. So, oh, there she is, all ready to go back on and uh, bleed the brakes up. Right, we're going to put the brake light switch back in first. You've got to have that flat piece against the flat piece down there. So, and then, so, did you hear that click? Did you hear that click, camera? Yes, I do. Just make sure it's in right. And then just uh, put it, the bracket on. Idiot proof, it says up. Even I can't get this one wrong. Look a little bit odd anyway, because it's off centre. Cameraman's just sat on the bike. Are you going to get the lever in the right place? So put your hand out, please, cameraman. Where do you reckon it should be? There. Okay. I'm going to be looking for a, an evenish gap on the bracket. You can see I've removed the towel because it's in the way. Uh, make sure you just give those copper washers a wipe. I've cleaned the banjo up. I call that banjo. Or oh, this is a banjo actually, because it looks like one. And then copper washers either side. Yeah, make sure the line looks good on your hose and then I would have thought that's got to be about 15 to 20 pound of torque but I'm going to do it up by hand I'm not going to put torque wrench on there I'm afraid it just wants to be tight I've just done the band it up the bolt up uh, hand tight I'm just going to as I say I'm not going to do it 15 20 pound 
Might do. As you can see, we've uh, topped up the master cylinder with, we can't get a lot of fluid in there at all. I'm just going to crack open the bleed nickel, a turn or two, connect up our pipe, and then we're going to try and bleed it through. If you have a bit of brake fluid in there, make sure the pipe is immersed in it and the cameraman will pump away. Keeping an eye on the fluid as he goes. Oh, something's happening because you can see. As you can see, the air is coming out of it slowly. It's getting clearer and clearer. But we're keeping the end of the pipe immersed so we don't draw air back in. Right, I've just just taken the pipe off and nipped the um, bleed nipple up. We've got such a small master thunder, it's a real pain. So what we've done, we've got most of the air out, I believe. The camera is now gonna pump up the brake to see if we've got a brake. There's a bit of a break there, isn't there? A bit. It's steady because it's spitting. But, and then we do it, I think we do it the old fashioned way, is to, to pump it up a little bit, then hold the lever down, I'll loosen the nipple off, and then tighten the bolt up and blah, 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 blah. Right, let's do it the old fashioned way then, camera. I'll put the nut on there. I'll put the spanner on the nut, and the bleed nipple. Put the pipe on there, put the finger in there, cameraman, pump up the brake, hold the brake down, release and pump up again. Hold in, release, pump it, hold it. Release. You can see there's no air in there now. So it needs to be used. That's tight. I'll just wash that down with some soapy water. Right now we've got the bike upright, come around, sat on it, twist the handlebars. We've got a little bit more fluid in there so you can actually see it in the sight glass. And then it should be okay once you've got the rubber seal on it, which is in the top. Gonna wash it all down with a bit of soapy water in a minute just to try and kill the, the brake fluid. And I'll put a little bit of cockerese on these. They do tend to corrode these um, little screws in this alley. All we've got to do now, wash it all down, and when the weather is conducive, take it out for a quick spin to make sure the brakes are okay. Thanks for watching.